Welcome back to First Take Math with Brian Thomas. Today's lesson we want to talk about exponents. So exponents uh, is a way to show repeated multiplication. So remember earlier we learned that multiplication is repeated addition. Now we want to talk about exponents as a way to model repeated multiplication. Let's look at some little more formal things we want to point out here. So if we look at this expression, 5 to the third power. This 5 is referred to as the base or the root, and this little 3 is the special guy. The 3 is called the exponent, or sometimes we use the word power. So the 3 is the exponent, or sometimes we use the word power. Now the way we read this is, this is most commonly read as 5 cubed. So you see this notation, a lot of times you'll see that read as 5 cubed. Again, 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. So those are interchangeable. 5 times 5 times 5 is 5 cubed, or 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. This exa next example we have is uh, 4 squared. Again, the 4 is called the base, the 2 is the exponent. And 4 squared means 4 times 4. So again, this 2 means how many 4's are connected by multiplication. So again, we would read that as 4 squared. So those are some very common ones. Anything raised to the third power, we usually use the word cubed. Anything raised to the second power, we commonly say squared. This third example, we have 7 to the fifth power. Again, 7 to the fifth power means 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Now you can start to see the usefulness of an exponent, because these problems get out to very far. This is a lot easier way to write it, using an exponent. So again, this doesn't have any special ways to say it. We just simply say that as 7 to the 5th power. Let's see. Our next thing we want to do is um, rewrite each expression using exponents. So if I give you this expression, 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. We can use exponents to rewrite that. So that's going to be a 2. That's our base. And then how many 2's do we have multiplied together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we can say that's 2 to the 6th power. And that's another way to rewrite that expression. This one here, we have y times y times y times y. Using exponents, that would be y to the 4th power. This last example, we have 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. That would be then 10 to the 5th power. So exponents are very powerful, if you will. Sorry, I do, do puns every once in a while. Uh, so you can kind of see the advantage of exponents when we have examples like these.